Dar's Zone, this time making the Mini Pi build, 16 gigabytes. I mean, I don't know when the last time you even saw a 16 gigabyte SD card, but you could totally throw this on a 32 gigabyte SD card. And it has 10,161 titles on it. Uh, the newest version of RetroPie 4.4, so it's going to work on the Raspberry Pi 3B plus the B+. Plus. So with all that said, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, we got some music. All right, here we are, Darzone 16 gigabyte mini pie build. The actual file name is DZ mini pie 16 gigabyte. It's running at 14.4 gigabytes, which is 15 billion 552 million four hundred eighty thousand bytes i have it on a 32 gigabyte sd card it should fit on a 16 gigabyte sd card if you are going to put it on a 32 or 64 gigabyte sd card you might want to go ahead and expand your file system i'll go ahead and show you how to do that and then we'll go ahead and see what games are on this image and how he's able to get so many games on a 16 gigabyte card um, so first off let's go ahead and expand the file system here we're going to go to raspi config um, the other thing I've done so far is I've configured my controls. It'll boot you. It'll ask you to do that when you first start up your um, your Pi. Let's go ahead and go to Advanced Options here, and A, move over, select. It's going to expand our file system, and it has now been resized. Let's go ahead and finish. Would you like to reboot? Yeah, let's go ahead and reboot. All right, now when we go to our file manager, we should have a lot more space to put onto this thing if we want to. And there you go, you can see in the lower, so whatever, let's just say half of 29, so I have about an extra 14 gigabytes of space. Let's go ahead and F10 out of there. And uh, if you have a 16 gigabyte, you're just gonna have, before I expanded it, I had like about a gigabyte left. And you want about a gigabyte for saving your save states and con uh, configuration for your controls, things like that. So as I mentioned, I turned off the background music. The way I did that was just options and then toggle background music. Uh, but if you like background music, you keep that on, keep that playing. It does have Easy Hacks Toolkit installed. And then as far as how I expanded the file system, you guys saw that earlier. I went to Raspi Config, Advanced, Expand the File System. And all that's doing is it's repartitioning the hard drive. In this case, it's a micro SD card. And um, you know now I have all that additional space. As I mentioned earlier, we're, we're rocking over 10,000 titles. And if you're wondering how he fit that, he got rid of the video snaps and he just went with artwork here, so there's no video that plays here. Um, and then he also removed all CD-based games, so you're not gonna see any Dreamcast, any PlayStation, things like that. Now, by expanding my file system, though, you can easily add your own systems and games and things like that. So let's just go ahead and go through here really quick. Um, also, I should show you, I said Easy Hacks Toolkit, in case you're wondering, that comes with a lot of these great fixes and pre-done uh, scripts for you, like adding a Zinmo arcade stick, um, you know, no audio, N64 tweaks, expanding an external drive, all sorts of things like that. Okay, um, moving along, let's go ahead and start with Amiga. We got 218 games, and Darzone, you know, he does a lot of these games. He he likes the Amigas, the, the Amigas, and the Commodore 64s, and all that stuff. So we're probably going to see quite a few of those on here. But as you see, only 218 games. So he was selective in what games he chose. So for those of you thinking like, oh, this is a little tiny build. And, oh, that's kind of cute. It can work. I agree. It kind of fits a niche for just tiny builds. But also, what this does is it forces the creator, in this case, uh, Dar Zone, to really select what games he wants on this image. He made it a little easier on himself, thinking like, oh, I can't fit CD games on here. But that's a cool, you know, that's a cool little project to think, 
oh, I'm sorry for those of you that want to see all the games. Um, that's a cool little project because then now once you've identified, hey, I want to make an image, 16 gigabytes, no video snaps, which is going to unlock, you know, our potential for a lot more space, and then no CD-based games. Now it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting um, assignment that he's on. Um, I think if you left CD games into that calculation, that is a tough job because the minute you start adding CD games, it's just gig after gig is, is gone. I don't even think that's a good idea. Maybe that's a 32 gig or 64 gigabyte challenge. So then Amstrad 314, Arcade Classic. So again, I like this with the arcade because as you know, MAME arcade games, there's thousands that'll run on the Raspberry Pi um, 3. So, you know, he only was able to get um, what was that? It was under 100. And so he had to pick his favorite arcade game. So Sunset Riders, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mortal Kombat, all great games, 1942. Um, so back to what I've been kind of ranting on, Atari 630, is that you have to pick and choose, especially when it comes to bigger systems like main. Okay, Atari 7800, 58, Atari Lynx, 83. Okay, Commodore 64, 325, Coley, Co, all of them though there because they're small games. Uh, CPS system. So actually, now that we go back to arcade classics, you're going to get those arcade games plus the CPS games as well. So quite a few in there as well. Um, I know a lot of big Marvel vs. Capcom fans out there, a lot of Street Fighter fans out there. So rest assured, you uh, have that. And uh, just thinking out loud, this is also a really cool image for to give to someone that gets intimidated easily. Because you know, if, if you gave me, if I've never seen a Raspberry Pi before, and you gave me a 128 gigabyte image, I, and then like there's you know 15,000 games, um, you know, and and so many more systems. This, by the way, I think it's about 30 systems still. So I guess I'm not really painting a good picture here for y'all, but. Uh, the point of what I was saying was it kind of does make it a little less intimidating for some people. So you can see he, it looks like there is an issue here with the photos. I'm thinking that might have to do with the file names here with the exclamatory marks. Something you might want to look into. So there's the first problem, but not a big deal, but the, um, you know, I don't really play a lot of family computer system, but uh, do you know that the, that the images are not working for this particular system? Okay, Game & Watch 54, but back to what I was saying was, um, you know, if you want to give to somebody and not have them overwhelmed, overwhelmed by these huge collections of games, like Game Boy Advance has over a thousand games. All right, Game Gear 263, Game Boy 621, Game Boy Advance 180, Game Boy Color 589. And after we go through these games, I want to show you the bezels as well. There's bezels on here. And Television 118, Sega Master System 271, Mega Drive 185. Um, uh, Japanese Mega Drive, uh, regular Mega Drive, also known as Genesis 961. So quite a few here. Okay, he is including some hack games as well. So that's always fun, you know, especially saying this was a 16 gigabyte card, still squeezing in a few of those hacks, which they're not big games, but you know, just another little detail that you'll find on this image, and not necessarily on all images. You know, those that's often one of the things that people uh, omit. MSX 579. Or I wouldn't say they omit it. I would say they just don't add it in, as it's not common. Nintendo 64, three games. Wipeout, Super Mario, Mario Kart, all run really good on the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Plus. Neo Geo 132, that's pretty much all of them. Nintendo 955, so some hacks there as well. And an issue here with the artwork as well. Not sure exactly what's going on. That might be an easy fix in the... Um, just with the file naming, Neo Geo Pop Color 82, PC Engine 210, 32X32. This is a collection, so Sega Classics is a collection of games. SG1068, Super Graphics 5, uh, Super Famicom 223, Super Nintendo. You're going to see some hacks in there as well. And as well as some issues with the artwork on this one. Uh, Video Pack 75, Sharp 68,094, Sinclair 1228, and then you have NES Classic and SNES Classic, which is just those games there. All right, let's try an arcade game. So here are those custom bezels. So it's custom bezels, 
it it's not the um, bezel project it's um, bezels that he chose let's go and play another arcade based game all right this is working so it looks like no bezels for the CPS games but it's running good there we go All right, start select out. So my hotkey is select, so that'll get me through to the to exiting. All right, so there you have it, Dar's Zone dropping a 16 gigabyte mini pie build. Overall, cool. I'm gonna have to give this one a B. There, um, I get asked a lot for 16 gigabyte images, and they're just not that popular, um, especially since the new Raspberry Pi 3B Plus came out last year, and thus we don't really have a updated version. So with all that said, this is kind of an updated version. It would be a great base image for a lot of people to get hooked up on, or like I said, somebody who just doesn't want a ton of stuff. Um, they don't want to sort through. Um, you know tons and tons of games he oftentimes did put his favorite games and I have to say a lot of them are kind of the best of games and games that in and you know historically are very very popular um, so with all that said that's great it's a really good image some issues with it though like that I did want to bring up was there is some issues with the artwork and maybe he can uh, tell people how to fix it on the game list but for example Nintendo Super Famicom missing um, they're not missing because I checked the retro pie they're there I think they're just the directory is wrong um, Super Nintendo as well but then other systems are totally fine like Amiga you can see the pictures and you can see it's working here but as you saw with like Super Famicom the pictures were uh, not synced up it does have easy hacks toolkit um, it is on a newer build it's super easy to navigate I have my my boot was easy there's no lag on it so it's a very optimized image with all those things so that's why I'm still giving it a good grade but um, there's a couple bezels that weren't working and a couple of the artwork that wasn't working and maybe that'll just be a quick fix I'll, I'll, I'll post it on this video um, when that fix does come out or easy way to get it or maybe they'll he'll re-release a fixed version of this and then I will make sure to update that in the description below once those little things it would be an a image especially in that 16 gigabyte uh, category but um you know i'm still very impressed by it it's cool love this theme by it's an edited theme from Dwayne hearst so cool on them and then you know just being able to have 30 systems on a little 16 gigabyte card running on this little single board board computer that fits in the palm of your hand it's just it's just cool right it's cool at the end of the day so that's what i think let me know what you guys think don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one